Excel 2010 has some fancy new formatting features that weren't available in earlier versions of Excel and hence wouldn't be compatible. So you may want to consider that whenever you create a database and you're going to send it to somebody who you know doesn't have the uh, latest Excel 2010 program to go ahead and check for any compatibility issues. For example, this uh, workbook that we created in an earlier training video, My Quarterly Cells, with the miniature database here on Worksheet 1, we only entered in data, just straight data, no fancy formatting. So if I go ahead and I email this off to a friend who has an earlier version of Excel, XP 2000 or even 2007, a more recent version, they should open it up and be just fine with it, and they can view the data. But if I go ahead and I apply fancy formatting to it that's only available in 2010, well, it's going to be removed when they open it up in the earlier versions of Excel. So unless that formatting is just absolutely pertinent to it, then what you may want to do is go ahead and take that into consideration when you're sending this off to somebody else knowing that they won't be able to view it. And because you can't tell what fancy new features are available only in 2010 as opposed to those earlier versions, Excel has the compatibility checker feature that will show you the features that aren't supported in earlier versions of Excel. So for example, if I want to go ahead and check and make sure that there's nothing that isn't compatible with those earlier versions in this workbook, which I'll tell you right now, everything's compatible because I haven't applied again any fancy new formats. In any case, let's pretend that we don't know. Come up here, click on the File tab. The default is Info tab. If not, come down here and click on Info tab. And then come over and down and click on Check for Issues. Click on the drop down arrow. And we want to check for compatibility. Again, it says Check for Features Not Supported by Earlier Versions. Click on it. It looks throughout the whole workbook and it says, uh, we didn't find any. You're good to go. And then click OK. Go ahead and save this and email it off to your friends or coworkers. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some fancy new formatting features and see what it looks like or the results I get back when I use the compatibility checker so you get an idea of what to expect. I'm going to come over here and select the range again. You're looking at the white cross to select. So wherever you see the white cross, I'm going to click in cell B3, hold down the left mouse button, go to the right and down and select that range. Range from B3 down to cell C5 and everything in between. Once I select the range, I'm going to come up here on the Home tab to the Styles group, and then I'm going to come up and click on Conditional Formatting, go down to Data Bars, come over here and select a gradient field, maybe something like red. Ooh, that's fancy. When I click on it, I'll click off in a blank area, and you'll notice that in this range of cells, which one contains the lowest number? It's this cell right here, 55. Which one has the highest number? It's over here, 192. So the conditional formatting says, well, based upon the conditions of the cell which has the least amount or the lowest number in it, we'll have a small bar, and the one that has the largest number in it will have the bar, well, basically flushed all the way over to the right. So you can either view this database of one of two ways. You can either look at it numerically and go, let's see, 55 is less than 105, or you can, let me click off in a blank area here, with the conditional formatting, view it graphically so much easier sometimes to view things graphically when you're like okay my eyes are immediately drawn toward this one without even looking at the numbers because the graphic bar coloring the whole cell shows me that that's a larger number then I can focus on the number so if you're more graphics oriented then you may want to consider using that but that's not the point we'll cover conditional formatting in a later training video the point being is that it's using gradient bars in other words, we have a bar within the cell, which I can tell you wasn't available in earlier versions of Excel like 2003 or XP. Well, if I really want to find out, again, I can come up here, click on the File tab, go to the Info tab, click Check Issues, and come down to Check Compatibility, and, well, there we go. We're being flagged. Then we can read the different issues that it's finding here, based all within that range there, because we didn't see them before when we did the compatibility check. So first of all, it says, look, one or more cells in this workbook contains conditional formatting that we just don't like, that aren't compatible in earlier versions of Excel like data bars. And that's what those are, data bars. The color scales, it doesn't like the, the gradient, the scale that it's using, or icon sets. We're not using icons, but it lumps it into that category. And then you'll notice the issue that it'll have with earlier versions is between Excel 97 to 2003. It doesn't say 2007, but if we scroll down, this one, or the description here, says that the rule uses a negative value, and negative values aren't compatible not only in Excel 97 through 2003, but it includes Excel 2007. And so the negative value used in this conditional formatting here, Excel 2007 doesn't support. And we'll continue on down. 
And then it says there's going to be a minor loss of fidelity. So if you go ahead and read through it, it says that the data bar rule uses a fill, border, or bar direction. Well, it's using the direction where it's going from left to right. And these data bars will not be supported in earlier versions of Excel, including Excel 2007. Now, if you know that your friend or coworker doesn't use earlier versions of Excel, 97 through 2003, but just 2007, then you can go ahead and scroll through here and just be concerned with those that say 2007 or filter out or don't show the earlier versions between 97 and 2003 by clicking on the drop down arrow and unchecking the earlier versions so all you see is just the 2007. Click on the drop down arrow. It's just displaying 2007. Yeah, I know it says 97 through 2003, but Excel's not going to remove that for you. It's still going to be there, but you'll see 2007 here, 2007 there. And the one that was on the top, or the first one of the three that we originally saw, has disappeared because, again, it's just dealing with 2007. And then it's saying, oh, by the way, it's not supported in, in these earlier versions, which, well, that would make sense. In any case, let's click on the drop-down arrow and check. So we have both of them checked. And what if we had issues throughout our whole workbook on worksheet 2, 3, or maybe 4, 10 additional worksheets that we may have? You can go ahead and click on the Find link. When you click on it, boom, it'll take you right to it. In these range of cells, that's the issue that I'm talking about. So you go ahead and you fix it. And then if you think you fixed everything, or you're not sure, go back and uh, check for the issues again. Again, File to the Info tab here, and then Check for Issues down to Check Compatibility. And it brings up any additional issues that you didn't fix or removed. So let me go ahead and click OK. So if that range selected, if I go ahead and I just send this off to somebody who has earlier versions of Excel, those data bars will be removed. They won't see them. The numbers will be there, but not the data bars. And if you're OK with that, then shoot it off. Or if you like to help them out so they don't get the prompt going, uh, we're having issues here, or you like to know what they're going to be seeing from their point of view, then you might want to compensate. In other words, go ahead and get rid of the data bars. And if you want something graphical, then create a graphical chart over here based upon the data and not having the graph actually within the cells, especially with these different types of gradients and colors that's only available in Excel 2010. So if you knew how to put those features in, you should know how to remove them, right? So if I got the range selected, come up here to conditional formatting and let's clear them out. Let's clear the rules from the selected cells or the entire worksheet. We'll do selected click off in a blank area, run it one more time, file the info to check for issues, to check compatibility, and hey, we don't have a problem. Click OK, save it, send it off. You don't have to worry about anybody asking, hey, am I missing anything? Because Excel 2003 will prompt them and let them know that they're going to be missing out on some things that aren't compatible with their earlier version. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.